Hey, what's up? It's Rashad, Antonio, OG friend of the fam, MCU Collective. And we're going to talk about, you know, 2023, look back, and also a look ahead to 2024. Of course, this is going to be spoilers. And I'm just going to be honest. If you haven't watched What If Season 2, we're going to talk about that today because I am glad we waited. I'm gonna be super honest. Like I was gonna do this last week when I was like, I, I just don't feel like it. My body mm-hmm. was I'm tired. My, my body weary. So I'm weary. <laughs> I, 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 I just we waited and mm-hmm. we both finished watching what of season two today. Mm-hmm. Right with Loki season two. I mean, that's like the the I mean and Highlights. Guardians, Guardians three best projects of of the mcu like oh like i can't say because what if is a is animation it saved the mcu this year but it really tried it really tried its best to you know what i'm saying i can't even lie what if this year was so good season like the bar was set so high on how season one was and i was just like you know what cool we'll see what happens and season two came and was like, well, let's, let's move this bar, let's move this goalpost back a little bit more or whatever. And and I commend Marvel for this. It's good because the best part of the DC universe before they shut it down, before they shut that down, was their movies, their their animated movies. Yes. Their animated move like if the effort in the animated movies from DC was put into some of those films you know they've had with the writing and stuff like that it'd been fantastic and marvel right now i think mcu animations wise because that is now from what i read is going to be the new division called marvel um marvel it's going to be like a new slate in the beginning it's going to say instead of marvel marvel animation they mm-hmm. they look like they they trying to come for what used to be dc's um animated uh <laughs> DC's animated neck for real, and I'm glad yeah. you. I'm glad you you brought that. Up. We're gonna talk about that at, at the look mm-hmm. ahead. Mm-hmm. But man, like what if like what if season two, each episode, and what I liked about this year, like it veered away from it being just based on, like you know the Infinity War saga stuff. Mm-hmm. So, if, yeah, yeah, Infinity Stone saga. So like all that was it. It, it just really. It made for more creative storytelling, and like like this the Santa episode for me was okay. the um episode with the First Nations girl. I think it's Kauri. Kauri. Yeah, Kauri. Like that yeah. episode to me was that was the best so episode of the season. Well done. Yeah, it yeah. was so good. Just like having, like, I like when when they like okay. How can I say this? The world building and mythology building of mm-hmm. them basing that off the Tesseract, like the Space Stone, mm-hmm. and them having their afterworld be based on just them going to another realm, basically within Earth. Mm-hmm. And then them showing just how devastating the Spaniards were when it came to just decimating the native mm-hmm. peoples of the land that we live in and mm-hmm. then not shying away from that and mm-hmm. actually like lean into it and made it a very heroic story like i wish they could have did this in live action for Bruh. real for real because Bruh. they they started it with um with, with, with the talocons and and black mm-hmm. panther 2 but mm-hmm. having like a full on story like this would have been mm-hmm. amazing. But yeah, but yeah, this season two, man, it it it, it was it it definitely it was elevating the whole time. Yeah. And it ra- and it also wrapped up a, a story from season one as well without it lingering the entire season. Con- it connected it, but it also wrapped up a story from season one. But um, yeah, that First Nations. Episode man, what if Cohorty? Uh, what if Cohorty? Um, re- reshaped the world. Oh my God, it was fantastic! It was fantastic. You know, I didn't know what to expect from it because Cohorty is a a what if original character. She's yeah. not in the comics, 
she's not a part of the MCU, where it might be now because of this or whatever, because I think this is going to be a popular thing. And then the fact that Marvel actually um, got with people from, I believe it was the Mohawk Nation. He did. The Mohawk, Na- the Mohawk Nation to do um to do um this this story because they were speaking mohawk the entire there was no english in this at all no english was spoken at all it was either mohawk or else spanish yeah was, uh, spanish was spoken in this that episode and god almighty and they used a lot of they said like um um native american um like myths and stuff along with com- yeah. making this episode so yeah that that episode alone like completely like just just killed it along with the other episodes as well yeah for real like the weakest episode and and, and that was a good episode in and of itself too was the continuation mm-hmm. of what if captain carter fought hydra stomper and that was a good episode yeah but that was the weakest yeah. episode that's how this yeah. that's just how good yeah. What of season two was. I mean, even like like Nebula the joining the Nova Corps. Happy Hogan like, saves Christmas. Yo, was, like, was and, fun. Cause, <laughs> yeah, because even as I love how they did like their version of Blade Runner 2049 oh. in the MCU. Mm-hmm. It was definitely like like, yeah. like Neo Noir. Like it, it, it was it was so good, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Quill coming back to earth like you know mm-hmm. with ego and him just crushing the 80s avengers mm-hmm. yeah man like it just it was so good you know so oh, oh good oh the 1602 avengers that was an excellent episode excellent episode man like i like i love the twist of how era i was still mm-hmm. working in store like yeah that whole thing was good even the episode before that when um yeah. what if hella found the 10 rings and oh. <laughs> hella, yo, hella, yeah. basically being Thor from the first Thor movie, and mm-hmm. her having to have in order for her to be worthy was to actually have compassion, passion, and mercy. Yeah, yeah, and like her, like you know, actually besting um her dad. Like it just, yeah. man, just just great storytelling. <laughs> Even with the last episode, which I know mm-hmm. some people it may be just like a little too much over the top, but like I mm-hmm. loved it because. Like even the fact that Strange was recruiting people the whole time, but he really wasn't recruiting them. He was just snatching people away from the universe so he no. can, like, you know, make his own universe. <laughs> it is hilarious that it's just hilarious that this dude just still did not learn his lesson. Nope. From the first season. Like not at all. Honestly, his his singular episode in the first season. Is probably one of the saddest things I've seen in the MCU yes. and one of the darkest because besides um the Infinity um war, they lost. He you know say he lost he lost in the way and I remember when that episode ended, I was like, Oh snap. Oh, That's stay it. the black. Oh, we we done. So yeah, and it's like the fact that he still didn't learn his lesson and he still was trying to get his girl back in the end and you know it just come to find out the only way that his girl could live in that universe is if he never existed in that universe wow man like yeah (laughs) Yeah. they they really they like they really waited to 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 show this man and i appreciate them because they could have dragged this out and i i guess it was like man we really need to hit him over the head with some goodness Mm -hmm. before the year ends just to keep Mm -hmm. some goodwill yeah also, Tony. Already confirmed. Tony. Go ahead. Tony. The fact that mm-hmm. they link this to the end of Loki season two when they show mm-hmm. Igrisil, mm-hmm. the world tree. And mm-hmm. it's like Captain Carter was like, I don't want to go home. I want to go the long way home. Yeah. And he was like, yo, yeah, we got oh, we got stuff to talk about. So season three, mm-hmm. already they dropped a the trailer. Like 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 a little clip like with a, um, a three minute a th- three minute, three minute tra- trailer yeah. clip yeah mm-hmm. with um with basically um Red Guardian Bucky um uh oh yeah um what's that man Grant Goliath yeah Goliath is Bill mm-hmm. Grant is his name I forgot man. I, I can, think I think so, so yeah so many characters yeah, yeah. so him. Bill Foster, there we go. Foster, Bill Foster. Foster, yeah, 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 yeah. So he, um, and they're like cops, and they're trying to, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, you'll find a clip, man. Yeah. It's hard to find because it's not on YouTube yet. And if some of y'all are wondering what we're talking about, yes, 
they've already greenlit and they've already have animation done for season three of what season if. three said is coming soon. soon. So this I, may drop again, may drop next year, which yeah, yeah. I'm adding on the next year list already. Yeah. Like I and am. we're saying next year as in we're still in 2023. We're three, two days away from so, 2024. Yeah. 2024. I, have a, I have a feeling this may drop into the year again, like 2024. That would be dope. But yeah. yeah. All right. Getting back to, <clears throat> excuse me, getting back to like some of the good stuff because mm-hmm. we're gonna we're not gonna spend a lot of time on yeah. matter of fact let's just get out of the way right now uh-huh. um secret invasion y- y'all did us wrong yeah. the marvels y'all did us wrong with that as well mm-hmm. and what else was wasn't great secret invasion the marvels oh um um um, um quantum mania and quantum mania mm-hmm. uh R.P. Jonathan Majors in, in in the MCU as well. Yeah, yeah. We already we talked about this extensively. If you want to mm-hmm. really go back? Just go back to the channel. We had all reviews on that stuff. Like it just, yeah. yeah even talked about Majors in the trial a couple of times. So yeah, go back to the channel, check all that stuff. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. Yeah. Definitely want to talk about the greatness that was Guardians three. It was mm-hmm. early in the year, so people mm-hmm. kind of forget about stuff that happens earlier on. Mm-hmm. But God, I watched Guardians three again. Oh mm-hmm. my God. Like it's such a great, as you would say, Tony, swan song. So yeah. just that <laughs> team. Man. Yeah. And it was heartfelt and it was funny. And looking at relationships, how relationships change, even with like Quill and Gamora, because you know that was 2014 Gamora. Mm-hmm. And just everything about that movie, like I really appreciate it. Like it was, it was, it was a really dope foot. Mm-hmm. I, is I think you just said it all, and we and we even said even more. If you go back, like I said, watch the episode where we reviewed that we reviewed that movie, and um, by far Guardians three, Guardians three was just fantastic. Um, definitely in my top five, maybe top three movies of the you know what I'm saying of the of the year for me personally. It was just a great story, and like I always say, it was a, it was a perfect swan song for that team, and also for Jason Gunn, who did the Guardians, because now he's moved on to be basically the head honcho of the DC yeah. Um, universe. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, and it's good to see some 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 hopefully you know some new team come through mm-hmm. in, in in the future because Guardians. I mean. The D list is of, of of the Marvel comics, and they made them into A list. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of stars came out of that too. A lot of unknowns, mm-hmm. and you know now we got Chris Pratt voice <laughs> acting every animated thing. No, oh, yeah, a man, which is yeah. which is ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, Loki season two. Just when we were beaten and downtrodden, <laughs> <laughs> Loki season two yeah. came and revitalized us again. And mm-hmm. uh, that was another series where it really, it just beat yeah. to the end, man. And mm-hmm. how Michael Waldron and, and, and the team, and I forgot the other dude's name, kind of the writer, like the writers on that show, like they really did an amazing job of just telling us how this version of Loki Mm -hmm. like really wanted to redeem himself fully. And Mm -hmm. I think you already know, I ain't really about redeeming evil characters, but in this situation, like they did, they did good by the actual character. Even if Loki never comes back, Mm -hmm. like I am satisfied with the way that this ended and, and, mm-hmm. and it ended to be honest it ended beautifully him making the and i said this at the beginning of when we did the before the show we started i said the only way this works is if loki makes the ultimate sacrifice yeah and they had the balls enough to do that and for that that's why like i really like love this show yeah um god it this may be loki season two may be the best um Disney Plus MCU offering that we receive since Disney Plus has been around. Because I mean, like you said, it was it wasn't a slow moment. And every episode 
was as, as as my man Rashad would say, a banger. It was just banger after banger after banger after banger. And you just kept and and the Katarian in me was just waiting for that one episode to make me be like, okay, yeah, that, that's a filler episode. There was no filler ep- there was, I mean, because you, you think about it, every every show, every show, no matter you know what your favorite show is, whatever, they normally have a few filler episodes or, you know, in a season as short as Loki, at least one filler episode that's kind of like a, this is like a glue episode that's going to kind of combine things. Because yeah. season one kind of did that. Yeah. yeah. All this immenses, season, even on that yeah. episode though. Yeah. Yeah. This season, you didn't get none of that. Everything had a reason and had a purpose and it all showed up at the end of the, um, in the final episode. Yeah, man. Again, RIP to Jonathan Majors at MCU. Did an uh-huh. amazing job. Yes, Victor Timely. That's, you know um, what's crazy? You know what's crazy? <laughs> our first introduction to Kang was in Loki season one. And our last. Jonathan Major. In our last. In our, I'm not going to say last iteration of Kang, but our last iteration of Jonathan Majors as Kang is in Loki season two. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's very, very, very. I didn't even realize that. Of course, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um. Loki, but Loki overall, like I just really appreciate it, and even, and even like I said before, like the way Loki ends, they give themselves an out if they don't want to do Kang anymore too. Mm-hmm. So, just a marvelous way to 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 wrap that up. And now, really, man, like I, that's that's really it for 2023. With yeah, we didn't get a lot. We we did definitely did not get a lot. Um, um, from Marvel this year, as far as um, as far as movies, yeah, what, what just three three movies this yeah, year? Three and, movies, which is normal, but the yeah. fact that it doesn't feel like a lot because two of the movies was trash. Yes, that's why he got three movies and one, two, three shows. Mm-hmm. It just, it just, you know, we was batting like, you know, three, 327. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? You know, which is good in baseball, but not yeah. good in real life. You know, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, man. I, I'm, and, and, you know, like I said, we, we're, we're not trying to bash the Marvels. We're not trying to bash Ant Man. We wanted all these movies to be good. We we, uh, we say, wanted we, Secret Invasion to be good. We wanted Secret and Nick Fury. Fury. Exactly. And and I'm it's thinking okay. about it now. It's like, could Secret Invasion been in another universe? Because this seems like a completely different Nick Nick um, Fury I from what we so. saw in the Marvels. I, I I hope we come through and explain a lot of stuff was in like different universes. And all those universes have to come and like be incurred against, and you know, mm-hmm. the world, secret wars, whatever, man. Like I, I'm like I, I need, I need something. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll talk mm-hmm. about that at a later date. But yeah, mm-hmm. 2024 guys is looking to be the true year of MCU animation. So yeah. let's just talk about what's coming out first. Mm-hmm. We have the TVMA. Echo under the um, Marvel Spotlight title, <laughs> um, which is going to be basically like their 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 rated R stuff, which mm-hmm. um you know, and Probably. it's going to be like an old school Netflix drop. All oh, that was dropping on on, on the tenth at one oh. time. So oh, for um for the um Echo, yeah, nice. January tenth okay. is uh it's, it's a Wednesday. It's a random day. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why I think they might be doing that with Echo. Why is that? Because it's more of an obscure character, and 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 I think people aren't really familiar with it. Because I don't know if a lot of people saw Hawkeye, no. <laughs> if, if saw Hawkeye from um last year or whatever. Nah, that so, was from two years ago. <laughs> oh God, yeah, right. Two years ago, Hawkeye was two years ago, and Echo isn't like you know what I'm saying one of those characters from um, Marvel that's like everyone's like, oh, I can't wait to see that Echo movie, or people are, you know. You know, familiar familiar with with her as a character, so I think that's why they're like, yeah. I think if we spread this out, people are going to be like, why do I need to wait to see who this young lady is? Even though I think this, what what was it you said? It's called Marvel what Spotlight? Spotlight. I think I think Marvel Spotlight is what's going to give us a lot of the 
like you said, the more grittier, hardcore stuff. Yes. Maybe, maybe so hopefully, some of the, like, you know, Daredevil will be up right. here. Hopefully we can get like a Punisher back. Supposedly Punisher may be like hinted in Echo. You know what I'm saying? We already know that I was going to be in Echo. So there's so there's a lot of opportunity for for that with mm-hmm. with this. And that's like that's like, you know, again, that's the scuttlebutt around this mm-hmm. supposedly right now. So I would definitely if, if you if you didn't watch um Hawkeye, you don't got to mm-hmm. watch Hawkeye. Um, go go watch Echo. <laughs> Watch Echo. Echo's going to be decent. Um, Echo's mm-hmm. going to also deal with a lot of Native stuff as well because she's a Native character in the comics mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. And it looks like they're going to do right by her and even giving us her origin story, which wasn't given really mm-hmm. in Echo. And you're also going to get Kingpin. And now we get to have a legit violent Kingpin. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's going to be that's going to be a great thing. So yeah, Echo is first off and at the echo oh man it's like a really it's 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 a it's a chasm because next up we're gonna supposed to be getting deadpool 3 mm-hmm. that's in july in it as of right now july 26 which is a really odd date because mm-hmm. usually the summer blockbusters are from may to early july yeah like so independence day for july yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah so it's probably because they got to make sure that you know they get back on set do, do the last couple of runs cg and all that good stuff and you know special effects but yeah mm-hmm. deadpool 3 is 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 looking to be rather interesting i've been trying my best not to find spoilers but f- spoilers keep on trying to find me i'm and not looking for nothing like if I'm i see not, anything you know, i just be online yeah. man like oh no i don't want to see that so yeah there's there's a yeah. lot of behind the scenes stuff that may be popping off with um deadpool 3 um like the major thing that i don't know you probably heard it too was basically gonna be like deadpool deadpool kills the fox universe mm-hmm. so if that is the case you no know, it's gonna be a good old fun time. We've seen a bunch of cameos and stuff. You already know, um, you know, uh, Wolverine's gonna be in it with our our favorite, our only Wolverine mm-hmm. on screen. So yeah, I wonder if they're gonna introduce too who's gonna be the new Wolverine. I don't think so. Okay. I think I, I really think Kevin and the gang. Um. Oh yeah. As as a oh, this is funny, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know they call like. Everybody that's right below Kevin, Kevin Feige? No. The Marvel Parliament. So like Stephen Broussard, oh. um, Nate Moore, uh, and a couple other people, Brad uh-huh. Winderbaum. They call the Marvel <laughs> Parliament. Anyway, that's, I saw that today in the credits. That just, it just yeah. made me chuckle. Anyway, so... Yeah, um, yeah Deadpool so, yeah. is going to be chock full of cameos. Yeah, it's, it's One good. cameo that, they, that I've already heard, I don't know how true it is, or whatever that may happen, is and I know people have been some people have been fighting for this. Taylor Swift is Dazzler, but you know, <sighs> I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm a little exhausted with Taylor Swift. I, I, I mean, yeah. personally, I just don't. I, oh, don't worry, I am. Listen, I don't see. Don't get me started. Appeal. Don't yeah, get me started. Yeah. I'm I not, know you I, be I, a football I, fan and all. Yeah, like a no, true football. Not fan. even that. Like that. It's just like I like. I have, like I this. have, I have his, my his, opinions on yeah, Taylor his Swift. Good quick, quick. Quick caveat. I do respect her getting her master's and taking control of her career, yada, yada, yada. But she's not that talented. Anyway. She makes music for basic. She kids. makes, yes. And she you makes music. Want, you know what I want to say. She makes, she makes music <laughs> for people who wear dirty white sneakers. All right. Um, with that being said, <laughs> next. And this, in the next couple of things, don't, don't even have dates. So Dates. we got mm-hmm. matter of fact, we just go with the other um series. That's gonna be Aga, Agatha Dark Hole Diaries, which is the name mm-hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. And this that's gonna be in the change. fall. I'm ho- I'm hoping that's gonna be like a like a like a spooky season release. It just would be even though it's on the nose, it's, it feels like they're gonna release it around Halloween. I think that's that, what someone said. I think I've heard that it might be around a Halloween, um around a Halloween release. Yeah, that has a that 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 show has a lot of potential mm-hmm. and they got some really strong actors in that Sasha Baron Cohen <laughs> yeah also have um oh what's my girl's name from um I don't know my girl's name she was in 
in um, Parks and Rec. She also was, and she was in another um, Marvel property too. It wasn't um, MC proper, but it was Fox Marvel. She, it was um, uh, Legion. She was in Legion. She played Lenny. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I can't. Yeah. Thank you for your name. I'm, I'm not stressing, but yeah, she's in it too. She's going to be a part of the mm-hmm. coven. Sashir Zamata is going to be in Oh, it. yeah. She's yeah, Zamata is in there. Shout out, um, you know, former SNL member. She's mm-hmm. mad funny. She's in a. She played in a lot of um a lot of streaming stuff the past couple of years. Shout out Aubrey Rich. Plaza. Yeah, Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you're oh yeah. And in in, in in your downtime, if y'all never seen Legion on FX, whoo, yeah. That show tell you though, too. Crazy. It is a heavy, heavy, it is a heavy show. Yeah, and you're gonna walk go into that watching it like what is going on here so you have to have your necessarily your mind right and your mind to be very open to what you see in that yeah, this, show this ain't a um i'm watching this in the background show yeah no nah. yeah Mm-mm. yeah um the dude who um who 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 made who wrote fargo wrote that joint noah holly yeah this is him yeah 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 noah holly mm-hmm. um, was behind that so anyway Agatha Dark Hole Diaries, man. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Just trying to see how they interweave everything. Her is supposed to be about, you know, them trying to figure stuff out with the Dark Hole and, you know, yeah. the power that was unleashed. Hopefully we get a, a you know, a, um, a Wanda Maximoff um, cameo in there somewhere because it just mm-hmm. it, it, it just would seem right. Seeing how after she supposedly left to surprise some other um some other dimension you know her the curse was um was broken so now you know agatha's out here out and about in these streets mm-hmm. yeah um another show and i just found out about this yesterday i was like <laughs> hey did you know about said rashad did you know about this he says oh i ain't tell you i was like I... eyes of wakanda let me explain That's... something to you Anything mm-hmm. that involves Wakanda, I'm here for zoop, it. Zoop, 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 I am zoop. here. Anything involving Wakanda, I am here. I am here for Ebon it. Bomb Bay. Bay. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm really here for that. Um, speaking of Wakanda, with you know, I know we just talked about the season three of what if apparently there's supposed to be an episode where the Black Panther and the Moor are supposed to team up. So you know, that's supposed to happen too in season three of that, but I'm really interested to know what the premise is of Eyes of Wakanda. Yeah, because I mean, even with the little small snippet that the people saw, like mm-hmm. it ain't really no no real plot details. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we knew, excuse me, for a minute that Ryan Coogler had like a project dealing with Wakanda for a while now, but nobody really was talking about it. And like, and it was real quiet. Mm-hmm. And knowing that this is going to be an animated thing as well, again, this series will be animated. Mm-hmm. It's going to give them even more flexibility to flush out some stuff and to be just super creative. It's going to have a different animation style. I heard mm-hmm. that as well. So oh, really, okay, yeah. So so be prepared for that. It's not it's not going to look like what if at all. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to just seeing like what stories they tell and just how they um, expand the um, just the, the Wakanda mythos within the MCU, man, that's, that's going to be, that's, that's going to be, it's going to be hella dope. I can't even lie. Mm-hmm. But yeah, after that, we got something that's going to be very near and dear to me, Tony's heart. And that is going to be X-Men 97. Been waiting for this since 2019 when they announced it. And I don't think y'all understand. Like, X Men in the '90s was the quintessence of what animation was. This is a time where, like, Fox tell let me just get this ran off. Fox tell yeah, I know. I just got my hand up when you done. Okay, Fox Television was murdering everything. From they had Batman the animated series, they had. X Men. I'm pretty sure that they also had like Image Comics when had Wildcats. Anything that that Fox was doing on a Saturday morning type thing, or mm-hmm. that four to five spot, mm-hmm. 
killing it, yo. Yeah. Um, God. So, X Men, the cartoon that came out in the nineties, eleven o'clock every Saturday morning. That that that's that that's how near and dear it is to me and Rashad's heart. We was we that that was our show from from preteen all the way up to um uh, you know say all the way up until we graduated just about high school. Yep. Whatever. Yeah. People don't understand. Some people really don't understand that show is what resurrected the X Men period for Marvel. It, it resurrected X Men. X Men. Not saying X Men was was dying, but no one was really reading comics like that during that time period. And DC nope. was. And DC had a stranglehold, especially after releasing you know the death of Superman comic oh, and everything. Yeah. You know they had a stranglehold. On the comic situation, Fox came out with and Marvel um, animation back then came out with this show right here. Good God Almighty! And it was the first, in my opinion, animated show that I can remember where you started off with previously on X Men. Previously on X, this is like one of the first animated cartoons that tied everything together. Yeah it, yeah, it definitely was one of the first earliest serialized mm-hmm. cars. Yeah, you, you are mm-hmm. right. You're right. Right. I have the entire series on DVD. That's <laughs> right, DVD or whatever. But that, and then, like I said, that spawned uh, Spider Man, the amazing Spider Man that was on Fox, along with, and then DC had their Superman and Batman. Batman animated series, one of the greatest series of all time, animation wise, whatever, animation or live action period. But man, yeah. I can't wait. And it was in the way X Men ended, the finale, it gave us a finale, but it was like, dang, this is how we ended it or whatever. Because uh, it, it wasn't supposed to end. Right. It wasn't supposed to. It was like some type of dispute with yeah. the studios and everything. And now we're going to get this show that's going to pick up right where that last episode left off. That's why it's called X Men 97. Cannot wait. There's no date for that. Mm-hmm. The show's done. Mm-hmm. Marvel's just gonna drop a trailer and surprise us. Right. I'm hoping they do like Apple. You know what I'm saying? Just make make the event and have it be available that next Friday. But right. nah, yo, like I, I can't I can't wait for that. I will be very happy if it's every week. I will mm-hmm. review that joint like like some little mm-hmm. kids in here. Mm-hmm. And y'all not gonna say nothing. Y'all gonna right. watch it and be happy. Yeah. Ne- next, last but not least. But to be for real, it is at least for me. And that is going to be um, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And mm-hmm. we don't have a date for that I- either. Um, also, that- also another one that's tentative for 24, but we're not sure. Marvel Zombies. Tentative. I haven't heard a thing about that. I haven't heard a tentative. thing <laughs> about that. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. after um, seeing how we get on What If right now. Right, you know I'm, saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. Cause they're basically using that same. If they do it, it's probably gonna have the same animation style. It's gonna be a spinoff of what yeah. if. You even got like a like a quick snippet of that in the last episode of what if mm-hmm. season two with um yeah. with Vanna and her, the whole like you know. Oh girl, okay, they ran around that corner. She said, "Oh no, not her, uh, not her again." <laughs> yeah, yo. So Spidey um animated. I heard it was. You know, it's like a it's a different animation style as well. It's more like, you know, I say preteen oriented. Mm. And you know, we're just gonna I mean yeah. we're gonna have to wait and see. It's it's probably gonna be I don't I don't see it not being good, but you know, yeah. I just don't it's the least one that we have the least information about. And it has a lot to live up. I put it like this, it has a lot to live up to considering some of the previous Spider Man animated shows that we've had and the ones in the nineties. And I don't, Which, I don't think it is. And even like, okay, and even, even how, the one MTV, remember even the one MTV had that was kind of like after, um, based kind of off of the Tobey Maguire one or whatever. I, I, was, I can't, okay. lie. I can't even remember that. Okay, that's but Spider Man and Spider Man in the mid nineties. <laughs> it was awesome. Shout out to um, <laughs> shout out to YouTuber um Ace Vane for making some of the funniest videos based off of that. <laughs> oh my god, yo. Yeah, Ace Vane is man is a genius. Anyway, but that's it for for our uh, look back and look ahead. Um, yeah, man, I just want to um give y'all a, a big thank you for rocking with yeah. us this year. Had some growth 
Unfortunately, like 96% of y'all still ain't subscribed yet. <laughs> y'all need to come through, man. Just hit the yeah. button, man. It don't yeah. cost you a thing. We ain't asking for yeah. nothing. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really want more, we do got the Patreon up. Mm -hmm. just let us know we can do more you know what i'm saying if y'all don't want yeah. us to have real jobs anymore and just do this all day long we would appreciate that too pretty much for real <laughs> work out the funds you know what i'm saying right and so many friends forever yeah. i would never let money come between us never. so hey if i really want that <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, join the patreon <laughs> right but no but on the real like i re you know we really really do appreciate that we've been doing this now what um two three years We've been doing this three years. We just first started off doing this like with just regular, like, oh, a sporadic show or here or there or a movie or something like that. And then it wasn't until like last year, year before last, that we decided, hey, man, let's go ahead and just kind of put let's, some. Let's really do this for real. Put some little hot sauce on this and, and, start, yeah, and, start, really, and start really doing this. And, you know, I just want to, you know, shout out to Rashad for even inviting me to, you know, to do this because this is Rashad's project or whatever, you know, and Rashad you know, puts in, I will say 90% of the work, really 95% <laughs> of the work in this. I'm more of just the talent because I, my schedule is just so, Rashad knows my schedule is so crazy. You know, me working in media, myself or whatnot. And, and you know, I just want to thank him, man. And you, like I said, this is, this is, we, we 25, 26 years of friendship right here, man. And, yeah. Like yeah. we, we like, we really like, we love each other, man. And we really yeah. love, we just love talking about this stuff. Like I yeah. said, like we first started, we would have been talking about this anyway mm -hmm. if he wasn't mic'd up and, and, and camera'd up. We still yeah. be talking about it. So you yeah. might as well just do it for the man. Man, we just man, we would go to a movie and I just be like, yo, did you see? And Russ would be like, Yes, did you see? Oh man. <laughs> or whatever. You know, it was just a chat. And then one day we're just like, Hey man, you, you wanna do this? Just get online and talk about this. I was like, Well, hell yeah, let's go ahead and go. <laughs> so yeah, man. So I appreciate you, Rashad, for inviting me into the family for that. And yeah, man, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Big thanks to Don 24, man. Stay tuned to all the channels, man. Y'all be blessed, man. Peace. Peace out. Happy New Year.